Are you aware of this miracle in American history? James Madison. He was known as the chief architect of the Constitution, writing many of the Federalist Papers, which convinced the states to ratify the U.S. Constitution. Madison even introduced the First Amendment in the first session of Congress. At the onset of the War of 1812, President James Madison proclaimed a day of prayer, July 9, 1812, stating, I do therefore recommend rendering the sovereign of the universe public homage, acknowledging the transgressions which might justly provoke his divine displeasure, seeking his merciful forgiveness, and with a reverence for the unerring precept of our holy religion, to do to others as they would require that others should do to them. The next year, on July 23, 1813, Madison issued another day of prayer referring to that, quote, religion, that gift of heaven for the good of man. On April 6, 1814, Napoleon abdicated in Europe and was exiled to the island of Elba. This freed up the British forces. Nearly a thousand American vessels were captured and three invasion armies were sent to New York, New Orleans and Washington, D.C., on August 24th, 1814, a force of 4,500 British troops marched toward Washington, D.C. In a panic, citizens hastily evacuated. Dolly Madison is credited with saving the Gilbert Stuart portrait of George Washington by having it cut out of its frame. She rode out of town on a carriage as British Admiral George Cockburn rode into Washington, D.C. Admiral Cockburn entered the White House. He ate dinner, then set it on fire. He had his British soldiers sit in the congressman's chairs in our Congress, and he held a mock Congress. He went to the speaker's chair and he said, who votes to burn the American Capitol? And they all said, I. And they proceeded to torch the U.S. Capitol, the Treasury Office, the Patent Office, the Library of Congress, and they even attacked the Navy Yard, but were turned back by the brave Marines. Suddenly, dark clouds rolled in and wind and thunder grew to a frightening roar. Lightning began striking. A tornado touched down, sending debris flying, blowing off roofs and chimneys, knocking down walls on the British troops. Violent winds slapped horse and rider to the ground. The book Washington Weather recorded British Admiral George Cockburn exclaiming to a lady, Great God, Madame, is this the kind of storm to which you are accustomed to in this infernal country? To which the lady replied, no, sir, this is a special interposition of providence to drive our enemies from our city. A British historian wrote, more British soldiers were killed by this stroke of nature than from all the firearms the American troops had mustered in the feeble defense of their city. As the British forces fled, torrential rains fell for hours, extinguishing the fires. The British marched back to their ships with difficulty on roads covered with downed trees, only to find two ships blown ashore and others with damaged rigging. On September 1st, 1814, Madison wrote, The enemy, by a sudden incursion, has succeeded in invading the capital of the nation during their possession, though for a single day only. They wantonly destroyed public edifices, an occasion which appeals so forcibly to the patriotic devotion of the American people, none will forget. Independence is now to be maintained with the strength and resources which heaven has blessed. Less than three months later, Madison proclaimed a national day of public humiliation, fasting, and prayer to Almighty God on November 16, 1814, stating, The two houses of the national legislature have, by a joint resolution, expressed their desire that in the present time of public calamity and war, a day may be recommended to be observed by the people of the United States as a day of public humiliation and fasting and of prayer to Almighty God for the safety and welfare of these states, his blessings on their arms, and a speedy restoration of peace of confessing their sins and transgressions, of strengthening their vows of repentance that he would graciously please to pardon all their offenses, I have deemed it proper to recommend a day of humble adoration to the great sovereign of the universe. Well, that was President James Madison during the War of 1812, where America faced the most powerful military force in the world. And even when our military was not able to defend Washington, D.C., a miraculous storm did. America, it's important for us to remember these miracles in American history.